Let's show you how Mr. Ugolini fared in action. This afternoon, it was senior night in Agawam. The Brownies hosting a pregame ceremony before they faced South Hadley. First quarter, Tigers with the ball. Charlie Anischeck charging the field. South Hadley strikes first, one nothing. Still first half, Brownies with the ball. Colby Mikzewski passes to a familiar face. Number 11 ties the game at one. Later in the quarter, Riley Jorgensen with the ball in Tiger territory, pushing defenders across the field, scores the goal on a hop. Breaks the tie, athletic play. Now to the second quarter, and you guessed it, Ugolini fires the rock into the net for his second goal of the game. 3-1 Agawam. After the draw, Brownies Riley Jorgensen picks up the loose ball while Tigers defenders are flying all over the place. Goes past one, two, three, charging towards the net. Final score, Agawam, eight to four. The South Padley Brown, the Brownies are eight and nine. They need a big week next week to get into states. East Long Meadow honoring senior Bridget Jordan Monday evening. Jordan, the only senior on the team. That's bad news for everyone else in Western Mass. They're 13 and one hosting the West Side Terriers. Megan Morneau with the ball off the whistle, getting East Long Meadow on the board. One nothing. She gets the ball again, went low last time. Top cheese here. Same result, two nothing. First half, West Springfield's Audrey Kanata with the ball. Skips it low. Skips the stone in the pond, pulls her team within one. Next Terrier's possession, she takes the pass. Give and go for Addison Chapman. We're all tied up at two. Coming off that small run, Ailey Thompson, free shot, shoves it into the back of the net. Morneau's got it again in West Side territory. Think she's going to go for the handoff? Nope, fakes it. She'll drive herself, scores her third goal of the game. She would finish with eight of her team's 19 goals. And they're back at it on Thursday night against Granby. Everyone wearing their light blue shirts to support One Love. It's a foundation that honors a former lacrosse player in college who was killed by her ex-boyfriend. It teaches about healthy relationships. Great cause. Hattie Jordan takes a free shot, cashes in. That makes it 9-0. Then Kenna Marino for Anna Maccarini. Ailey Thompson, good team offense, leads to the score. Ella Laliberte trying to get her team back in it. Good shot from up close, but it rings off the post. Granby. Hard time getting anything going early on, but they stay on the attack. Hallie White there for that goal. Spartans pouring it on, however. Ailey Thompson for Kenna Marino, and then they run the weave. Marino to Grace Howard, clearing the way for Bridget Jordan. She's going to go top corner, finds the net. And Jenna Hawley shut the Rams down on the back end. Final score 20-3. East Longmeadow is the four seed right now in the D2 statewide rankings.